My name is John. I come from Uruguay, the Technological University. When I was a kid, me and my friends used to run races. And guess who got last to the finishing line every time? Uh, yeah, that was me. And uh, I remember feeling bad, feeling like, uh, uh, what's wrong with me? Why can't I run any faster? But eventually when I got to terms with the fact that I was a slow runner, once the, the finishing line wasn't my main goal, I began to observe and appreciate other things that were going on during the race, like some friends laughing at my slow speed, some other friends running faster than they could so they fell and hurt themselves. And I also remember appreciating the, the sunlight falling on the track or, or the breeze on my face. And also some friends slowing down their pace to run by my side for a while. And this act of empathy had a profound impact on me. I learned that a single act born from love, from empathy, uh, can resonate without limits. I began to learn about the value of empathy back then, about the power of slowing down, and the learning process of this uh, two very important lessons to me still goes on till this day. Uh, let me give you an example, my FIF project. Uh, at the beginning, it was called Utec Reach, and then it became Young Innovators. Uh, the big idea is uh, to increase the availability of human resources uh, qualified in science, technology, and innovation through the training of young students to provide them with opportunities to develop their innovation and entrepreneur mindsets. And during training, our university students uh, learn about design thinking and they learn about how to facilitate groups. And then they go to secondary level institutions where they act as facilitators for teenagers who solve different challenges that have social impact during what we call Semana de la Innovación or Innovation Weeks. But let me talk to you about the difficulties uh, at the beginning of my FIF journey, I intended to reach all these provinces. So this is Uruguay and the provinces in sky blue is where our university is situated. And I only, as you could see, uh, reached one in a two-year time period. Two directors of our Department of Innovation and Entrepreneurship resigned, which meant a lot of convincing energy from my part. And also I created a training for students and faculty uh, at, at first with zero students and then with a very low, low number of students and many, many other difficult and tiring situations. But being part of this FIF community, really uh, having the opportunity to uh, being able to share the difficulties throughout the way really helped me, the, the feedback, the excellent feedback, the excellent opportunities helped me move forward. So just like in the races when I was a kid, there were many positive, exciting things going on. The European Union funded our project. We are now a team of 11 people collaborating on it, faculty, students, and fellows. There is now a waiting list for students who want to be trained for young innovators. And uh, we are also doing our second and third round of Innovation Weeks next month. So I'm really happy about that and I'm moved and I'm really thankful to all of you for being part of, of this community. Uh, so I don't know about you, but I know that many of us educators uh, still struggle with this feeling that things don't really uh, go as fast or as smoothly as we would like. So how can we as a community continue to nurture this insight that the real value of making things happen is not uh, in the finishing line, but about taking it all in, letting go, letting come, uh, fa uh, slow enough, so we can continue to take the loving and patient action that leads to profound and radical change. So thank you very much.